Hi, Karen Wells, Independent Sensi Consultant, Lavington, New South Wales. I'm filming in a different area today. I normally uh, film in my lounge room area. Uh, it's just a bit warm out there today. Uh, so I thought I'd come out into the kitchen um, because it's a little bit more pleasant. Today I have an empties video and uh, I have a lot of empties here. This is for um, October, end of October and uh, the beginning of November. I have some non-wax empties which we'll start off with. So the first one is a Scentsy Soak and it's a pineapple coconut vanilla. Not my favourite scent but I believe it came in a whiff box um, so I had the opportunity to try it. I made some samples out of it and um, the rest I've used in foot soaks. I have often told you this, I don't have a bath so um, I use it as a foot soak so after a day, uh, even a cold day, <laughs> but um, hot sweaty day, it's just perfect. Um, and it also uh, saves on moisturising as well because once you have your feet in there, because of the moisturising properties of it, um, you've got less um, moisturiser that you require on your feet. Um, coconut, pineapple and blue fig. And this is uh, quite a nice scent. Um, I'm not sure whether I like vanilla scents particularly. I'm not really a fruit favourite, um, but this one was really nice. I just like the foot soaks, to tell you the truth. Um, another one that I've worked through is Endless Sea. And again, this was in a whiff box. It's not a fragrance that I would normally um, purchase. Sea Breeze, Airy Musk and Linen Sailcloth. Um, sea Scents, mm, Ocean Scents, not my favourite. Um, but again, I did use it because it is excellent. Um, and I'm sure if I used it in the bath, it would be lovely and moisturising as well. Actually, on the back, it says, infuse your bath with authentic Scentsy fragrance, moisturising ingredients um, with Epsom salts, pink Himalayan salts, and um, the moisturising ingredients are very good. They work really well. Okay, so Scentsy brought out a pet line. Now, I only have cats. I don't have dogs, and there's no way that I would wash one of my cats. I certainly wouldn't survive. Um, Best Buds Suds Pet Shampoo. This is in honey and chamomile, and I used it for samples and giveaways. Um, I have friends that have um, dogs and um, I've, they've used it and reported that it's exceptional. I love the fragrance. I think if they bought out a wax bar in honey and chamomile or even a human um, body wash, um, I would certainly get that. I just love the smell. Um, quite um, sweet and uh, the chamomile doesn't come through as too herbally. Okay, I've used some oils. Now these are only the small sample oils that came in um, the, um, the sample pack uh, for each um, new catalogue. Uh, this one is coconut blossom and tangerine. I love coconut, I love citrus scents. Um, and I'm, this one was really nice. I used it in my diffuser. Um, I'm not quite sure will I I'll buy another one because this one, I don't know how much this is. Is it 5 mil? 7.5 mil. Um, and it's taken me a long time to get through this one. So I don't think I'll repurchase it. Um, but that was really nice. I did enjoy it. Um, one that I really did enjoy is lots of lemon. And I will actually repurchase a large one, which I think is uh, twice as much, um, 15 mil, that's on my next order. Um, nice lemony one. I don't know whether there's actually scent notes somewhere, there must be. Um, but that is all lemon, beautiful. Lots of lemon oil in my diffuser. Then in my car, I had um, a car bar and also I use my Scentsy Go there and that's Pink Haze um, in the Go pods, there's scent beads um, which are infused with the scent. And these actually don't smell anymore. <laughs> Neither does the car bar. It's just started to smell like plastic. 
And normally if they still have a scent, I will actually put them in my, um, this one will go into the bottom of my bin, but then it'll just go in the recycle bin. Um, and these ones will go straight into the bin as well because the scent has gone. But if the scent was still there, I would put them in a linen cupboard and uh, or a musty cupboard or not that I've got musty cupboards but you know it uh, stops them from getting musty so that was pink haze a nice feminine florally girly scent quite liked that I like that not particularly because I like girly scents because it was strong it lasted probably at least three and a half four weeks which to me is good value okay so my favorite thing is wax so the scent of the month for um, October was clementine and cran 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 cranberry. It was a lovely orange wax. I actually um, got the um, scent of the month pack. Being a consultant, I was able to get that. Um, but these have been repurchases because I really liked it. And I've got it in my Scentsy Club. So I went through two of those. And it's a nice uh, citrus scent. Very nice. And it lasted two or three days, um, which I'm always uh, very impressed with. I've got a uh, current uh, scent of the month. Salted Kisses. I've worked my way through all of these, I think. Um, one of them came in this month's whiff box and I do have it on my in my Scentsy Club. I was very hesitant about this one um, because salted sea air ocean scents aren't my favourite. I quite often get a seaweed smell um, from them when they're melting but this one was lovely. I think it's got um, beech lily, coconut and... Um, sea air in it and it's really quite nice the coconut comes out quite strongly and it reminds me of coconut flower or the other one what was it coconut cotton in um, bring back my bars the July July 2019 that's really nice it'll be in my Scentsy Club for a while because I am really enjoying it it's a nice summer scent then we have Luna, which is a favourite. It's um, white florals. It's um, jasmine, freesia. Mm, I can't remember what else, but it's a beautiful scent. It is one of those ones that's in my Scentsy Club, even though it's in the current catalogue and probably will be freely available forever. I don't want to miss out. I love that. So every, every month I get that in my Scentsy Club. Um, Cinnamon Vanilla is actually a uh, in a spring and summer um, catalogue, 2019, and um, it's actually in the holiday scents. So we don't have a lot of bakery scents available in Australia, and I guess it's because they don't sell very well. Um, cinnamon Vanilla. And there's a lot of cinnamon on cold sniffs, um, but it is uh, lovely melted, and it's a really good mixer. I don't have any here actually, but um, the Jelly Belly collection had a nice cinnamon as well that um, mixed with all of the scents, all the apple, the pear and the tutti frutti. I didn't particularly like the toasted marshmallow. I, my son's smelting that, um, but you could put that with any of uh, the fruity scents and just um, top it up a notch, you know, like bump it up a notch. And I do like cinnamon scents. So I actually made samples out of those to um, send to my customers and friends that enjoy um, Christmas scents. Because as I said, there's not that much available in our current catalog. Then this is a um, past, this is in our clearance section. And it's um, Sedona Sunset. Now, I've actually got my scent notes written down somewhere. Um, I've actually purchased another one of these, even though it's in the uh, clearance section, because I really enjoyed it. It's Desert Lily Vanilla Coconut or Vanilla Orchid coconut milk and jasmine. This is really nice and it lasted for two or three days, scented up my house nicely. Um, good value um, in the clearance section. Then um, the current scent of the month is Gone to the Beach. And I've 
got two of these. So gone to the beach. Um, it's beautiful. I really enjoyed this. I'll actually put this in my Scentsy Club. It's um, Thierry Flower, Coconut Water, Pineapple and Musk. And I've actually spoken about this on a couple of my videos. It was a lovely turquoise wax. A lovely floral. Um, and I think it's just beautiful. Not too sweet, not too pineapple-y, um, but the flower and the musk is right up my alley. I just love that one. Definitely Scentsy Club worthy. I love that one. Then we've got Southern Evening, which is a Bring Back My Bar. Um, I've also got scent notes for that. I've got this in my Scentsy Club currently, but I have taken it out and I will get a few more so that um, I will enjoy them for a bit longer, but it's French lavender, geranium fruits and white musks. So it was a dark blue wax. It was just beautiful and a powerhouse. Scented up my whole unit, lasted for days, thoroughly enjoyed it. And even though it was a powerhouse, my son didn't complain about it too much, which was really good. This is an old bar, clove and cinnamon. I actually use it as a mixer. I love clove, I love cinnamon. Very strong actually, but you can mix it with anything. I don't particularly like bakery scents, so there are some bakery scents that really need clove and cinnamon just to make them bearable for me. So I think that clove and cinnamon is just what it is. I don't think it has anything else in it. No, doesn't appear to have. So that's it for that. Then I've got the new botanical collection empties. So um, in November 2019, Scentsy released their botanical collection, which is uh, five bars, mainly fragrant, uh, floral fragrances. Um, the only one that wasn't was the um, Blackberry Cheer and I was really surprised with this one um, because I didn't think that I would actually like it. I don't normally like fruity scents and Blackberry, like um, Blackberry Vanilla, I don't really like that one at all. But this one is really nice. It's Blackberries, Maya Lemon and Vanilla sh uh, Chiffon, lovely purple wax. And um, I think it was the saving grace was the lemon and the chiffon because it really made a lovely, lovely fragrance. And it is fruity, um, but, but it is fresh. It lightens it up. It's not heavy like some of the blackberry scents can be. Coconut Gardenia, lovely white wax. And this was my absolute favourite. This has gone into my Scentsy Club. Coconut Milk, Musk and Gardenia. Lovely floral. Not too heavy. My only criticism would be on these uh, botanical is that they did not last for very long at all. Um, if I got a full day out of them, I was lucky that one didn't last a day. Um, when I cleared out the wax the next day, I could have the the uh, cotton um, cleanup bud had a slight fragrance, not much at all. Blooming Dahlia is another one, Jasmine, Sweet Pea and Dahlia. A lovely pink wax. A nice floral, very light. Um, it was good to start off with for about the first hour or so and then I couldn't smell it, disappeared entirely. A bit of a disappointment, won't be a repurchase. So um, I have actually got the Blackberry Cheer in my Scentsy Club and also the Coconut um, Gardenia. Um, Marigold Fields, uh, I thought it was going to be a bit like fresh cut daisies and on cold sniff. It is, this was headache inducing. I had this in the warmer and within a very short period of time, I had to throw open all doors and windows. Now I was hanging out the washing at the time. I had a few loads um, in and out, in and out. Coming in, it was like, oh gosh. And outside it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful for half a day and then it disappeared. So. I don't know what it was in there. Maybe it's the marigolds, magnolias and tiger lily. Don't know. But if it was like it was when I was outside, um, it would have been lovely. 
um, but inside I will not repurchase it. It will, and in, in fact, I'm glad that I've made samples out of it and given the rest away because um, I did not like that at all. Headache inducing, and I don't get headaches as a general rule from fragrance. So there you go. Lucky last is Irish um, Iris and Aloe, which is Morning Dew Drops, Aloe and Iris. This was a really interesting scent. On cold sniff, it smells like I've just broken off a piece of aloe vera and I've actually got the, um, the juice on my fingers and it uh, smells very, very green, very aloe, very herbal. And I thought, ah, oh, this will be interesting. But melted, this was glorious. I really thoroughly enjoyed this. My only criticism was that it did not last. Again, this was another one that I'd had in the warmer for about two hours. No longer could smell it. Even when I went right up to the warmer and stuck my snout in there, it still didn't smell very much at all. So quite disappointed, but there you go. There are a couple um, that I will actually repurchase out of that, um, out of that bundle. And um, I really enjoyed melting most of those. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.